The following KQED production was produced in high definition. Every single bite needed to be savored. (laughs) There's Twinkies in there. Wow. It's like a great big hug in the cold city. I mean, that food is about as spicy as I can handle, and my parents put chili powder in my baby food, like. (laughs) And I sent french fry bits everywhere all over the table, and just a lot of chewing. (laughs) Okay, my stomach is growling right now. I just want you to know I'm hungry. Check, Please! Bay Area is brought to you by the members of KQED and by Oakland International Airport. Now you can enjoy some of your local favorites when you travel to and from the Bay Area. Fly Oakland International. It's your airport. Charitable Auto Resources, urging you to donate your car to KQED's vehicle donation program to help raise funds for quality public broadcasting. IRG, with thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG Brisbane, Dublin, or online at marblecompany.com. Locally owned and operated for 24 years, Amici's East Coast Pizzeria serves up a taste of the Northeast's distinctive Italian fare at their 12 Bay Area locations. Open daily for a quick business lunch or an evening meal out with family and friends, Amici's offers homemade pastas, fresh salads, and pizzas cooked in traditional brick ovens with many vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free options. Menu and locations can be found at amici's.com. Amici's, proud to support KQED. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, Ruth Ann Gonzalez manages strategic growth, new business, and innovation for a retail company. Whether alone or with friends, she targets the top up-to-the-minute eating establishments because eating just for nourishment isn't part of her design. David Nalloway calls himself a sales monkey, (laughs) but he doesn't monkey around when it comes to food and authenticity in the kitchen. And he's always wanted to talk about food, especially when somebody else is supplying the wine. That's good. I'm your gal here, honey. Free wine right here. (laughs) But first, technology trainer and support specialist Scott Phillips sets all things professional aside to relax in his hometown with close, ample, and free parking. His spot has a seasonal menu that doesn't park food on the plate long enough to get a ticket. For perfectly prepared local ingredients, he steers his car to Hearts Avenue in Danville, where he dines at the Peasant and the Pear. My name is Rodney Wirth. I'm with the Peasant and the Pear in Danville. Um, we specialize in California Mediterranean cuisine and we specialize in food that takes a lot of time and a lot of love. Our name, The Peasant and the Pear, came about from peasant cuisine that we emphasize and the pear orchards being in San Ramon in the Bishop Branch area was once the world's largest pear orchards. So we added the two together and we have The Peasant and the Pear. So our whole philosophy is simple food, taking really simple ingredients, cooking them perfectly, season them correctly, and serve them to you and hope you're very happy. On our bar, um, it's a top shelf bar. All of our drinks are seasonal. We try to use the fresh fruits and vegetables of the season to create everything for our drinks. Um, Our main drink is the pear teeny, which has a salt roasted pear, and we make our own pear liqueur here. Our wine list is definitely California dominated, and um, we do pair up a lot of the sauces with the wines by the glass for each of the dishes. Our success is due to our customers. Um, We do have a cult following and they are the best to us. A lot of our diners are now our friends. Uh, They share holidays together, family, friends. Uh, This is a place that we have a lot of fun with and we just have a great time being in Danville. Now, Scott, you have been going to this place for quite a few years, right? Yes, uh, we discovered this back in 2006, shortly after they moved into a downtown Danville spot. And uh, although I was a little reticent to recommend it because it's our little neighborhood spot, 
opening it up to the rest of the world, it's just going to make it harder to get in. But mm -hmm. it's worth it. It's worth the drive. That's right. You'll have clout now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. But you live in Danville. Correct? I do. I yeah. do. And it's actually, I don't even have to drive. I, I can walk. It's within walking distance, which makes it nice as You well. can stumble home. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So what's your favorite dish? Well, I would probably say the, the lamb shank. I think that's what they're most known for. As a matter of fact, I think a, our local Diablo magazine recently said it's one of the 101 things to eat before you die. Ooh. And it's just fall off the bone, tender, slow cooked, and it's served on a bed of uh, gorgonzola polenta. And it's just melt in your mouth, delicious. I'm Wonderful. hungry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, David, is, is uh, the lamb shank, on, it, was that on your menu? It, it was, well, it came with one in our group. It was like a Fred Flintstone kind of lamb shank. I mean, the plate, <laughs> the table wanted to tip over when it got on there. And it was delicious. But, you know, one of the things that always bothers me is when you go to a restaurant and you order a pork chop, I hate it when the pork chop is overcooked and comes right. out like the bottom of my shoe. This pork chop got it just dead on right. It was nice and juicy and as promised. So that made it We had that same experience good. with the pork chop. One of the diners um, that I was with had it and it was by far the best yeah. dish. It was mm -hmm. um, the perfect bite with all of the potatoes mm -hmm. and the spinach and, and then yeah. the um, the nectarine. It was grilled. It oh, was yeah. so amazing. Like all together it just... Yeah, oh. a little demi gloss in there. That was Absolutely. good. It was a tasty mm -hmm. dish. Well, and another favorite of mine, they always have some type of a lasagna on the menu and they make all their pasta in-house. It's mm -hmm. fresh made. It's just creamy just delicious and this time they were serving an eggplant lasagna and I don't usually steer towards vegetarian this obviously if I eat the lamb shank. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have to go vegetarian it's delightful and it has uh, you know eggplant and it's got uh, ricotta. But that's a beautiful. rotating special that exactly, they have. Exactly, it's Absolutely. a rotating, but there's always some type of lasagna on the menu. And what else did you have with them? Uh, we actually had some starters, which I would definitely go back just for the starters. We had the mussels and one of the flatbreads, and, and they were both so different, but it was, um, the mussels had this corn and the herbs and the wine broth, and it came with this grilled bread that you could just sop up all of all of the extra juice, so it was and delicious. And speaking, mm. you said wine broth, and speaking of wine, they have to have one of the best priced wine lists in the <laughs> I yeah. think the entire Bay Area. Yeah, loved, loved the wine list. It was priced well and the selections were good. It wasn't overwhelming. So that worked out real well. And mm -hmm. we went on a Sunday and it's 50% off on all the bottles. So we just felt like yeah, we were so being we. overly That's treated. Right. You got the $25 great. dinner too. Yeah, it's a wow. wonderful what a deal. Yeah. dinner on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. $25 right. gets you a, a salad, an entree, and a dessert. Well, yeah. and having been going there for several years, uh, we've gotten to know Chef Rodney Worth and his staff and his family. And it's just, it's like going home every time we go in there and he makes it a point, he wants it to be affordable. And right. considering Danville can be a kind of pricey area, um, it's a very reasonable menu, just excellent food for the price, I think. So you ha what else did you have? Um, we also had their dessert, their tart, so the parrot tart, tart which oh, they tart. are. Love uh, the tart. It was amazing. So it was the crispy crust. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't going to go down there, but okay if you want to. <laughs> Love the tart. It was wonderful. Everything about it, just the, the crust of it was really crispy and then soft inside with a pear and it's caramelized. It was I delicious. Tell you, out of everything we had, that was actually the favorite of the whole meal was that tart. That's really good. Love that tart. Tart was great. Not you right, nice and crispy. The pear was good. The ice cream was nice. Well, and they also have a lovely uh, patio area in the back. And we went on a Sunday night as well, and uh, just sitting out on the patio on a lovely summer evening, which it, we can yeah. get lovely right. summer evenings yeah. in Panjo. <laughs> yeah. um, but there's always a few dishes, true to the the uh, name of the restaurant, Peasant of the Pear. For example, we had the white cheddar fondue that's in a garlic rubbed mm. pot, and it's always served with the crusty bread and with fresh pears. Mm -hmm. And it used to be on a spot that was, uh, I think, the largest pear orchard in the world. That's or right. It, or one of, that's certainly. That's right. So, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Scott, this is your spot. Give us a quick wrap up. Well, it's definitely worth the trip to the East Bay, to Danville, to go to my favorite place, the Peasant and the Pear in Danville. Chef Worth and his staff will make you feel like you're there for a Sunday dinner. All right, and Ruth Ann. Um, I'll definitely return. I love that they that you can have a really warm meal in a great setting, um, fine food, delicious drinks, and good company. Okay, and David. Love the Sunday night dinner. Can't beat the pork chop. It was cooked perfectly. Okay, if you would like to try the peasant and the pear, it's on Hearts Avenue at Diablo Road in Danville. The telephone number is 925-820-6611. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday with brunch on Sunday. Reservations are recommended and the average price for dinner is around $30.